we have some urgent news, guys. Regulation is coming to crypto in April. There'll be three countries that'll have excess requirements when you go to transfer off of Coinbase. So guys, without further ado, smack that like button and smack that subscribe button. To start off things, guys, on a bullish note, we're, we're above $46,000 at the time of this recording. That's pretty cool. we possibly get into that later. Up next, so it's a tweet, guys, I put out earlier. It says, you know, all sexes, a centralized exchange will comply with regulations. We've already heard multiple CEOs, the Kraken CEO, Coinbase CEO, all saying they will comply with regulations. Uh, and I, I'm personally just saying, if you want the freedom that crypto allows, you got to get your crypto in your own hands. AKA, get it off the exchanges. The exchanges have to follow all this regulation. There's two acronyms that um, they, like the banks go by. It's called AML. AML simply stands for anti-money laundering and KYC, which KYC stands for know your customer. So just keep that in mind, guys. When I say AML and KYC, that's a commonly used acronyms. That goes around with all this regulation, everything, exchanges, banks, you know, any kind of money like company has to deal with. They have to get this information from the clients. And that's why this is so important right here, guys. We're seeing Coinbase will require um, information from for, for crypto transfers from users in Canada, Singapore, and Japan. I mean, I'm, I'm getting ready, guys. It's coming for the USA real soon as well. It says customers in those countries who send crypto outside their Coinbase accounts must provide recipients' names and addresses starting in early April. Guys, addresses, that's not the crypto address. That is a real life address, like where they live. Guys, I would not be surprised in America if you need a social security number or you need some more information than just a name and an address. I would not be surprised. And I'm sure if you fake this information, I'm sure they're gonna consider that a felony. So you probably don't wanna do that. Get your stuff off now, in my humble opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a silly dude on the internet. But scrolling down, of course, they're showing all like the Coinbase stuff. Um, so it's just saying, you know, cryptocurrency, Coinbase, you know, coin, because it is a publicly traded company, will soon require its customers in Canada and uh, Japan and Singapore to require more information. Guys, please, please, please be careful. Um, this is going to get very serious. I see regulation coming down the hall for crypto. It's going to be um, very serious. You got to take it like, ve like very serious. I would not be going to break these laws. I would just, you know, maybe, you know, take some precautions, take some measures of getting stuff off now rather than later. It says, uh, we adhere to the laws in the jurisdictions to which we operate is from Coinbase spokesperson. Um, they also said, quote, while we always advocate for what we think the law should be, we must respect the laws that exist if we want to offer this, the, the suite of Coinbase services to customers in that country. I also want to make it clear that these changes as outlined in our FAQ only apply to Canada, Singapore, and Japan, where the laws require us to collect additional information. We're not applying this to globally customers. Guys, first of all, I just want to say, I mean, it says, while we will always advocate for what we think the law should be, we must respect the laws that exist if we want to offer the suite of Coinbase services to the customers in that country. I'm just saying, guys, when, when, when those homies from the UK came over to America back in the day and they had this thing called a revolutionary war, you think they respected the UK? You think they respected those people? You think they respected them? I just have to say, guys, we're going down a slippery slope. They also say they're not going to do it because no other country is requiring. It's not a law right now to require other information. But guess what? It will eventually become a law, guys. The NWO is happening right in front of our eyes. You can see it. I mean, go to the WEF website. Guys, it's all out there. Everything's out there. Crystal at like, like as day, clear as day. And you can see everything right, right from your eyes. They're telling you what's going to happen, and it's happening. That's why I'm telling you to prepare, at least from a financial side of uh, crypto. You know, of course, take, get, like, get the Bitcoin off the exchanges. And then this is the actual email they're sending to the Canadian customers. It says, dear customer, started on April 4th. Uh, Coinbase will introduce some changes required by Canadian regulators. Guys, get, get ready for the USA regulators. Specifically, when you send crypto to another financial entity or money service business, money service bike provider, whatever, you know, da da da, such as another cryptocurrency exchange and the transaction is over a thousand Canadian dollars or more, we are legally required to ask you for information about the recipient of the transactions, their name and address. Guys, it's just started with name and address. I mean, I won't be surprised eventually if you need a blood sample. The point being, though, is, of course, if you start sending 500 um, Canadian dollars at a time, multiple times, that's going to trigger a red warning, a red flag or whatever, and they're probably going to, uh, you know, lock your account and stuff like that. So just be aware of that, guys. Um, you don't want to get caught up in, like, in all that action. But, yeah, that's what's going on there, guys. You guys let me know your opinion. Are you guys going to be starting to take stuff off or not? Or, you're like, you know, homie, you're just being over 
over dramatic for no reason. Let like let me know down below. But guys, as we were live there for a few minutes, um, Bitcoin decided to go to about 46.5. That's pretty cool right there. We are starting to go back up to this 200 daily moving average, which is currently around 48.2. It's a moving average, so it does move. Um, so that's where it is right now. And that's pretty cool, above the 20, above the 50, like we have been. Let's pull up this good old weekly chart. And we are right now, at the time of this recording, we are above the 50 weekly moving average and the 20 weekly moving average, guys. That right there, in my humble opinion, is actually very bullish. Let's keep this up. That is very good. We want to stay above. We got to stay above. And I just want to show you guys, look at this. I mean, look at that magnet. What do you guys see there? It's about to cross. It's about to get positive. We're about to start to get a positive on the histogram. We're about to get a cross over here. Looking good. Now, let's just, you know, stay level-headed. Let's not get too excited. Um, we want to get confirmation. We want to close above here on, on the weekly, which has two hours and 19 minutes. So we'll find out in two hours and 19 minutes. Um, and then we want to have a nice continuation. We have the nice bullish engulfing like, like last week. Nice follow through this week. Let's continue to have another follow through. Let's make it happen, okay? So th that right there is that. And I thought I had to share, guys. I thought I, 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 like, I just had to share this. This is Alex Becker's overall sentiment, though. He says, this is the overall sentiment of crypto right now. Sentiment. Uh, I just thought, thought that was funny. He's been trolling the Cardano holders a lot. So if you're a Cardano holder, I I feel bad for you because he's uh, he's really giving you guys a hard time. So that, like that's that. And of course, you guys want to take stuff off the exchange. There is a link down below, an affiliate link for Ledger. It's an official link. Please do not just go on eBay. Do not go on Amazon. Be like, I'll save a little bit of money by buying on Amazon. Oh my goodness, it's so much cheaper there. Guys, it's probably a scam product. They probably tempered with it. There's been a lot of these things where, where, where people buy them at another place way cheaper. I mean, guys, like the, the, like the Nano S is $60, 59.00. 60 bucks, okay? Yeah, they, they might have it for 40 bucks on Amazon, but it's tampered with. They'll put stuff inside of it. They'll already have the keys there. So please take it very serious. Don't go to save like 10 or 20 bucks just because you're like, I just want to save 10, like, 10, 10, like 10 or 20 bucks on security. Security is something you need to take very, very serious. Get yourself a ledger. Get yourself some other kind of hardware device. Do whatever works for you. Educate yourself on that device and then decide to use it and go from there but that's what i got for tonight guys thank you guys for tuning in hopefully bitcoin continues going up we'll see as time goes on and uh yeah so until next time guys smack the likes smack the subscribes all that great stuff may the gains be with you